hello everyone and welcome to fix and action youtube channel so here we got lg k51 and we will be bypassing google account on this model uh, model number for this device is lmk 500 mm is by metro pcs this method should work with all other carriers as well so let's first connect it with wi-fi as you can see here we got a same tray ejector here in as well we got a sim card locked with a pin code you can lock a sim card with a pin code on another device so you should have another device as well and for this method we will need a another phone as well so by help of this device a second one we will need to transfer uh, the picture to this and then we will follow up the steps so let's first connect it with Wi-Fi just to make sure that we have a Google account on this phone connect it with your Wi-Fi or if you have a service which has internet both are same either Wi-Fi or service with the internet so this was a Metro PCS device so you need a sim, sim tray ejector sim card locked with a pin code and you need another device or another phone Android phone so let's see it's checking for updates installing updates I hope you guys can see this video this phone clearly sometimes the screen is not clear in the camera so I, I, I'll be trying to show the screen to move the phone side by side so that you can see the text clearly so let's see so I hope this method will work for you guys and please don't forget to like share and subscribe for more videos so let's see now it says copy update and no don't copy anything just a second so here it's asking for the pin which we don't know so let's go back cancel that go back okay so you need a sim card locked with a pin code so if a sim card is not locked with a pin code it's not gonna work so you check the sim tray put the sim card any sim card should work even if it's network locked but as long as it's locked with a pin code it should work so now you insert the sim card we have a pin code on the sim card so it's asking for the pin number that we set up on the on the sim card so we set up four zeros done so you will see the screen so again done so let's see for some reason it's taking longer let's be patient or we can eject the sim card and try again let's go back or let's eject the sim card okay so it's already the screen we can see this man or lock screen over the phone so here press and hold on this Android setup you will see this menu the top notification bar or settings menu press and hold this uh, Bluetooth icon it will open up a Bluetooth screen but this uh, SIM card is locked network locked also so that's why we get this message but it's okay just click OK and we see that we, once you press and hold that uh, Bluetooth screen you will see this screen this Bluetooth box will open so turn on Bluetooth and you need as I said you need another device so what we will be doing is we will be taking a picture for example I want to take a picture of this and click on this image that we just took a picture click here on this share so you have to find this share icon on your phone and your device and here click on Bluetooth so it will show this device to you since this is visible 
you should see K51. So here we got LG K51. Click on this. So it will ask for permission. Okay, yes, accept. So it will take longer sometimes because of the quality of the image or the size of the image. And then you will click here on this three dots in the right top corner on this device and click here on the receive files so you should see once you receive the, the image so you, you should see it here as you can see here click on this it will open up so here uh, you will see this Google lens icon so click on that it's a Google uh, new app so you can search anything by image so click on this lens next to these three dots so you click on that so got it once you see this swipe that and here you should see a lot of click on somewhere like here it will open up chrome browser so now click accept and continue so here no thanks You can visit the website also or let's see let's click on visit website if you can open up okay let's click on this share icon or we can click on these three dots so we have to open the, the Google Chrome all right so we are trying to open the main Google Chrome browser this is actually not a Chrome browser so that's why so let's try again the file has been already received so we're trying to do the same thing again card remove the sim card insert it again for some reason it doesn't Let's see okay so here it is so type the same lock password again click on this done icon so you'll see press and hold it will open up this press and hold this bluetooth icon okay press ok since the sim card is network locked also so click on these three dots click on receive files click on this again so let's uh, press again this google lens button we can let's click on this crop or let's see there have to be some more options let's see if we can find a YouTube video for example so any link which says which you can you know find a YouTube you know link for it for example this was a here we got one it says Samsung Galaxy S9 so the down it says is from youtube.com so it means someone uploaded a video click on that click on visit it will open up YouTube so no thanks so let's see if we can find a Chrome link here yes yeah, so here we can click on any of the links here or you can search here uh, switch access switch access you can search like this switch access 
so I've done click on the first or second one just click on the first one the first one and here expand that and you see the link so it will open up the Google Chrome so type here quick shortcut maker APK so download it from the up to down.com and your device maybe is the second or third one but here is the first one and latest version click on latest version download okay open settings allow installation go back install I hope you guys can see clearly the screen since it shows it's too bright so open okay so once you open this quick shortcut find here settings find here settings okay, here it is settings so here uh, you can find the screen lock here also maybe but let's just open the setting from here click on this and then try it will open up setting and type here let's see is preparing search okay type here screen and swipe down the first one will not work so it's better to swipe down and find here let's see screen pen screen pen so you have to find this one turn on this turn on this also and we need to give our own patron or pen let's give a patron since there is pen so we will try L if you want to set up the fingerprint let's set up that also in case Alright, okay, now go back or restart the device and you should be good. So you have successfully bypassed the Google account from this device. Now remove this SIM card which is locked with a pin core and is locked, network locked also. And put your own SIM card, whichever service you had before and you should be good. Just follow this video guys and this video should work for different models as well. If you have a different model HG device, you can try the same method. And just don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos. We already set up our own patron or pin code and now we will be trying to activate this device. So we will follow up the setup wizard. let's see okay so we see the main screen got a lock and let's see next it's already connected with Wi-Fi so skip don't copy anything Let's draw our patron. That's it. So it means we have successfully bypassed the previous Google account which we forgot. So let's skip this screen. If you have a new one Google account or if you know the old one, so you can put up that. Otherwise, skip that. Accept this. Okay is completing setup so you should be good to go and you can reuse your phone it will take a few more seconds for completing completely loading up the apps or the operating system 
so here it is so you have successfully bypassed google account on this device now you can hard reset or factory reset the device without any issue and please don't forget to like share and subscribe for more videos we really appreciate your support